All right, what's going on, everybody? My name is Brian Bauer, and who are you? I'm Kevin Pumala. Uh, just some dude, you know. Just some random dude. dude that he found on the street. Yeah, exactly. I mean, he looked kind of poor, and he had a lot of gear. And I'm like, yeah. well, I mean, I think he really needs some help, and I really need to take his gear from him. Yeah, you're, you're, you you kind of stole the car on him. Right? So, yeah. <sighs> I mean, okay, there's a good. lot of lying going on in this it's video right good. now. So we are doing several parts of a video today. We are actually going to be looking at some AMT electronics. AMT electronics pedals. And they are from the great country of Russia. They're from Omsk, Russia. And uh, yeah, uh, I got to meet Ivan and Jan. Jan's the son of the primary owner of the company. And uh, actually had a chance to spend some time with them at Summer NAM 2021 and at Winter NAM 2020. So very cool. They're really cool guys. And they sent over some pedals. I did pay for them. So this isn't a sponsored video or anything like that. So, but uh, yeah. Yeah, so the idea of this video here is that we've got four different overdrive plus preamp pedals from AMT plus an IR. We'll explain that in a minute. Um, where we're gonna be demoing these. So two of them are gonna be on my channel and two of them are gonna be on his channel. So if you were, is this the first time you're watching this on either one of our channels. I think this is gonna be the intro for like probably all of them, or at least the first two. Maybe, yeah. Anyway, Whatever. either way, it might be repeated in both channels here. We'll, we'll figure that out after the fact. Either way, we are going to be uh, doing a, a demo of those. So um, if you haven't clicked the like button, the subscribe button on this channel or uh, Kevin's channel, well, you probably should do that now. And uh, yeah, so cool stuff. So like button, subscribe button, notification notification, notification cool. button, yes. That's pretty cool too, so you can know when we're doing all this useless crap, especially me, I do a lot of it. Right on. So we'll just quickly go over the signal chain. We got this Epiphone. At Let's Paul Special 2, mod it with a Demersio liquefier and, or no, yeah, liquefier and crunch, crunch lab liquefier setup, that's what it is. Perfect. And then, uh, yeah, in regards to everything over over here, I'll do my best Vanna White. And uh, yeah, we actually Fanta have- White looks better than him, while well, at least did. <laughs> at, at one point. Uh, <laughs> oh, things change. Now, uh, and so basically on the far left, we have, it's basically a cab loader, um, IR device from AMT. Uh, there's actually, I should probably do this actually, this would be cool. Then you'll actually see which pedals are what. And at the same time, uh, then I've got these four other pedals, so, this emulates a PV, this emulates a diesel, this emulates a Marshall modded, and this is a Vox AC30. So in this video, we'll talk about... Uh, I guess this one we will do the Vox and the diesel. Sure. Uh, for me and for Kevin, I guess we'll do the other one, so we're just gonna go through them. So. Yeah, exactly. We'll do the Marshall and the PV in that one, but uh, yeah. So. Uh, basically, that is just going direct into the interface. It's just a focus right Scarlet, and um, that's all we've got going on. So, uh, one quick mention on the cab loader. Oh boy! Pulling the cable. Sorry. Okay. One mention on the cab loader is that we've got a basic noise gate on. Um, then we've got the power amp just set on a, on an EL34 configuration and then we've got this uh, own hammer v30 cab ir that's it so everything that you're hearing is there's no eq there's no high pass filter there's no none of that stuff it's just going to be the pedals so sweet all right, all right. Well, so what one we on demo some stuff there. once turned on do we have one turned on i don't think we have any uh we don't have any of them turned on so, so i guess we're going to play uh, with the vox for the moment so sure. this is a vox ac30 so so I've got the level matched here. Just ignore the level. I got the gain and everything at noon. So basically, just so people can see, it might be difficult to see in the camera, but maybe. Yeah, no, should be able to see them. We've got, uh, it actually goes high, mid, low in that order. So if I'm doing this, go ahead and play it. That's affecting the lows. Almost no low at all. Just gonna play with the dials here a little bit. Get some mid going on here. Crunch. 
exactly. So just to give just to give you guys an idea of what these pedals are all about and what uh, why they're why they're unique and interesting is that if you take a look on here, you'll actually see that this is in fact the 12AX7 tube, and this is a guard for it here to protect it so you don't break it when you you know carry it around. Uh, it's super easy to change out. You could put in whatever kind of tube you want. And uh, the amount of settings that they have available on these is pretty dramatic. Um, Such so as normal, they've got this Brill setting. Can't tell you exactly what that does, but uh, anyways. Also, it has drive and preamp settings. Um, you've got control in and out. That's to control other pedals. Um, I'll mention something on the bottom here in a minute. Runs on just a 12 volt power adapter. So input, output, fairly straightforward. Uh, but then they have this wonderful little, what's referred to uh, by uh, some of the AMT guys, is this is the magic hole on the back. So what this actually does, this allows you to plug it into an AMT Bricks system. And AMT Bricks, basically you would have three, uh, three pedals on a single pedal board. They're all powered by that system. It's even possible to get little amplifiers and stuff built into that as well. So it's a pretty neat setup. So check out amtelectronics.com and see what uh, see what kind of gear they have. So it's on the Brill setting. See, let's see what we get now. The Brill setting? Yeah. Let me switch between here. Not noticing a huge difference. Maybe it's slightly brighter. So it'll clean up nicely if you want it to. Or then it'll get you into some nice crunchy stuff. clean it's a very clean sounding yes. pedal so as you can yes. tell it's shown all my mistakes so <laughs> if you hear me playing sloppy there's no hiding behind the gain with this pedal i've noticed either and it's a pretty yeah. sweet little pedal so far so yeah but i like it for like that rock sounds like uh you said noise sound yeah definitely I'm enjoying that sound. It's yeah. Tone for like for like that kind of sound there. Yeah, yeah. It, it's 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 got something definitely going for it too. This is not a metal pedal for per se. So if you want to play like the real brutal stuff maybe this one's not for you if you're looking for this kind of sound like i think it sounds pretty sweet so mm -hmm. i don't know i yeah. think we've covered quite a bit for that one so so we'll go over to the diesel Let's pedal try something now. a little more metal at this point all, all right, right so uh, sorry to have my back to the camera here but i'm using we'll use this other camera up here yeah. To give, oh, yeah, uh, for sure. To give some overheads. So with this one, just a quick overview of this guy. So we don't have any extra special fancy controls. Just drive or preamp. Um, and that's it. And then at this point, same sort of tube. This is just an Electro Harmonics uh, 12AX7. And uh, yeah, we've got the volume up to about 3 o'clock just for level matching. Everything's at noon, basically, including gain. And uh, hit it. playing that in D, but whatever, you know. And that's actually full gain. And as you can hear, it's 
pretty clear. There's no, you know, fancy humming or buzzing or anything. get into a nice warm tone when you get into that range. One thing we may actually want to try too after is a uh, boost. Just to see, true. We could see that. what that, well, that, what that does. Here, so, right. Yeah. On. So I mean, it cleans up nicely. Um, that would be with basically with gain off. Just try that for a second. No. Okay. It's almost like if that one's up a full gain with the gain down. It's similar. It's yeah. Very, very yeah. similar. Like that. Um, yeah. So we're we're cranked for gain there now. Saying that cranked uh, the cranked settings tends to work the best. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, I mean, it's a metal pedal, so. Yeah. All right, let's let's try out the uh, let's try out the Marshall. Okay. What's up? Now we're trying out the Marshall. AM, what's this? Marshall Modit? Yeah, it's a it's it's called an M Lead Plus. All right. <laughs> Low gain, of course. stuff and so on. There's some weeds stuff? Yeah. Okay, sure. Yeah. Like...
Pretty good Sounds dynamics out of that pedal, of these ones. I'm quite liking them myself, so. Sounds pretty martially to me. Yeah, absolutely. Let's try out the PV uh, and see what we get out of that sucker. All right. So actually I should double check. Okay, yeah, so that didn't have anything in particular special. Just same controls as the other ones. Uh, PV, same thing. Um, there's a couple of other pedals they have, like the um, the Soldano slash uh, rectifier model that I, you can actually switch between the two, and there's some other things like that. But anyways, PV just kind of straight up. Here's a PV sound. So ready? Yeah. Time for the metal. Okay, here we go. All the I hate that riff. I hate that so much. One thing I'm getting is a lot of clipping when I'm hitting those palm mutes. Yeah, there's a lot more gain on this pedal. Yeah, there's a lot of gain on but I mean, it's probably the most metal out of the four of them, maybe. I don't know what the yeah. diesel, I mean, I'm not super familiar with diesel amps and stuff, but we all know like the 5150 kind of DL6505 kind of thing, so. But you know, yeah. there's a lot more. Like that's only at nine o'clock for gain. Yeah. So there's lots, I mean. That's actually off. That's what? That's off for oh game. Oh my god. <laughs> Fine, that's kind of the sweet spot there. They're all tweaked out pretty good there. Yeah. They're all, they're all tweaked out pretty good. Yeah. Honestly, though, I think they were pretty good pedals. Yeah, definitely. I mean, what I find they do different than a lot of pedals, because they actually have a preamp tube in them, they've, they've figured out a way to... I mean, yeah, they're using the tube to get tube, uh, the tube type tone, but at the same time, if you listen to any of their solid state stuff, it actually has a real tube tone as well. So um, there's something they do in the circuitry. I'm not exactly sure what it was. They weren't willing to tell me, but that's okay. Um, Wouldn't understand. It's in Russian. Yeah, exactly. But uh, there, there's a real clarity to them. Um, I'm finding maybe they seem a little bit muted here myself, but at the same time, I'm sure there's a million ways we could connect it and all that kind of stuff. So for how we have it set up, I think they it honestly sound pretty, sound pretty good. I like good. me through my terrible playing. Like, hey, it worked. I found there's like there's quite a bit of a there's a clarity to the tone. Of yeah. Definitely. There's no hiding behind like really garbage gain or something. I think it's got a lot to do with like that tube technology they're using yeah, yeah. here too, and just how it is. Like, and for like something like Yay, big with the tube. I mean, I'm sure if you did it right, you could probably do a gig with it. Oh, for sure. Like, I mean, that that's part of the whole point is that. If, you, if you're talking fly rig, I mean, literally, like, here's my hand, here's a pedal. They're very small. They fit in, they fit in my hand. Um, so, like, yeah, 
uh, you know, take a pedal like that, like bring a Vox for some clean and some, um, I don't know, PV or whatever style you want, or even like use one for lead, use one for rhythm, that kind of idea. Um, but overall, like it's not a lot of space it takes up. And then, um, you know, it's just DC power. You can power the universal AC adapter in any part of the world. So, you yeah, know, super really simple. simple. Well, I think we've covered that video and stuff. So thanks for uh, having these on the channel here today. It was pretty cool. And uh, I'm sure we'll have some of this video split up between the two channels. I don't yeah. know how well we did with this one, eh, but it whatever. Is it is what it is, and uh, this is what happens when you just flick the camera on, you start doing things, kids. Yeah. So, anyway, YouTube is a lot of work. We spent a, How long have we spent setting up for this video? Uh, Probably an hour. Probably, at least. Something like yeah. that, just figuring out all the cable stuff. Anyway, guys, you can click the subscribe button over here and on Kevin's channel, notification bells, and uh, like buttons is the really important one, I find. So, if you guys can do that, that would be great. So, thanks so much for having these on the channel today. Absolutely. And, and, uh, we'll, we'll we'll catch you guys in the next one. Yeah, one of one of the next videos here, which there's gonna be more, like right after this. Yeah, you might. We're gonna record a lot in the same day, probably. Yeah, yeah. so That's we're gonna be wearing the same clothes all the time. Yeah, it'll be sad, but anyways. Ah, uh, whatever. Fortunately, you can't smell through YouTube, so. <laughs> yeah, good. I haven't showered in three days. Nice. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> you guys have a great day. I'll see you later.